guys what's going on my name is lewis and god bless every single one of you today is october 13 2023 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here the governor of florida signs executive order declares state of emergency of the impact of the war in israel he also activate the florida national guard and state guard now someone said that uh, he also uh talked about martial law which is uh is false there's no martial law going on here all right so i live in the state of florida and uh you know i can tell you that there's no martial law going on but i received a presidential text alert yesterday all right i took the uh screenshot you guys already know let me show you uh really quick here so i received it it was uh Early morning, uh, one fifty-eight or one fifty-four a.m. Eastern time. And you guys know the uh, presidential text alert was sent out two twenty p.m., not a.m. All right. So, and give me a second here. So there's a possibility uh, something's going on in the state of Florida. Who knows, guys? Um, but, uh, state of Florida is like the only one that declares state of emergency. Now, New York is different. You know, they don't have national guards. They have police out there in the streets, uh, security on high alert, but they didn't declare a state of emergency. Uh, give me a second. Let me, uh, let me show you this really quick here. So you have this one here. That's the time. Give me a second here. One fifty-three. <clears throat> All right. So I received that. I think it was on the twelve or the thirteen. No, the twelve. So that was the same day he declared a state of emergency. So um, it's very important to always be prepared spiritually, physically, and mentally. Now, the big question is, why did he activate the National Guard? Why? Is something going on in the uh, Sunshine State? But well, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. Before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in, in this platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box and for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me Luis santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 all right let's see what's going on here governor ron DeSantis declared emergency after israel uh war all right give me a second let me zoom this in really quick <clears throat> now he also said that florida would close down certain business that's owned by the palestine you know what so he mentioned a whole bunch of stuff and uh, we're gonna see what's going on here guys if you can please share this video so you have ron DeSantis, the governor on thursday declared a state of emergency in response to the war between uh israel and Hamas. So with uh, his office saying the declaration allows the Florida Division of Emergency Management to bring Floridians home and transport necessary supplies to Israel. But well, it's not only Floridians out there. There's a whole bunch of, uh, you know, New Yorkers and uh, Californians out there, too. So the declaration came as the federal gov said it is arranging charter flights to transport Americans, some commercial airlines have halted service to Israel amid the escalating war that started Saturday with Amma's surprise attack on the Holy Land. And it goes on to say, give me a second. Ron DeSantis' order in part called for activation of Florida National Guard and Florida State Guard as needed 
It is also directed uh, Division of Emergency Management Director Kevin to carry out a state emergency management plan and other response recovery and mitigation plans necessary to coup with the emergency, including any lo logistical rescue or evacuation op operations. This is a lot of stuff going on here. All right, so there's a lot of stuff going on here, guys. And with the with this story going with the presidential text alert that I received. And guys, if you live in Florida, if you live because uh, I live in uh, Pasco County, but uh, if you guys live in Florida, let's say Tampa or Pasco County or Pinellas County or Hillsborough County, if you guys received the notification that presidential text alert, leave comments down below. I was up two o'clock in the morning. I was uh, doing all the research and I was watching videos about uh, Israel and all that live stream going on. Uh, I know Steve Luckner, he's been doing a live stream for the past couple of days. So I was watching his live stream and two, uh, no, it was uh, 1 56 in, uh, a.m. Eastern time. I received that notification. All right, so it says here, while a news release from DeSantis office said, the order enables the Division of Emergency Management to bring Floridians home and transport supplies to Israel. It did not provide details about how much effort uh, could be undertaken. Ron DeSantis on Thursday was in New Hampshire beginning a two-day trip um, to the early primary state and his bid for the presidential nom uh, nomination. Once again, the governor's office said more than 20,000 Americans are in Israel who wish to return home but are unable to do so. National Security Council spokesman Je uh, John said during a White House briefing that the 4th 6th administration has started to arrange charter flights to transport uh, Americans in Israel to our uh, other locations. So beginning tomorrow, the United States Gov will arrange charter flights to provide transportation from Israel uh, to sites in Europe. So here's the thing, guys. Um, they, they, there is an evacuation. The Americans are not coming here to this country. They're going somewhere else in Europe or another country. And then from there, there's a possibility they might come here uh, to the U.S. All right, so they're still working through some of the details of that to assist uh, U.S. citizens and their immediate family members who have, for whatever reasons, not been able to provide commercial transits out of the country. Mr. John added that the federal gov is exploring ways to help Americans leave by land or sea. In this time of crisis, we are focused on getting things done and supporting Israel. That's where our heads are, Mr. John said. John said he didn't have our figures on the number of Americans who want to get out of Israel, adding, we do know uh, there are certain American citizens that want to go. And we need to pray for them. We truly need to pray for them. On Thursday afternoon, 27 American had been, you know what, in the biblical war and 14 were unaccounted, Mr. John said. And my deepest condolence and prayers to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. It's really sad that this is where we are right now. All right, so it says here, part of Ron DeSantis' emergency order said that the event on Israel has prompted demonstration and fundraising campaigns throughout the United States, including Florida, intended to intimidate and warn the Jewish population and to support Amas. It said protective operations involving agencies such as the Florida Highway Patrol, Florida Department of Law Enforcement, Florida Department of Education, and the State University System Board of Governors 
are expected to strain state and local law enforcement resources. The order makes available money from what is known as the state's emergency preparedness and response funds. And that's where we are right now. <clears throat> so Florida is basically on high alert. I wanted to bring this information really quick here, guys. Let me take it back onto Twitter. It doesn't make any sense. Um, I was thinking about that too. He's going to send the National Guard to evacuate Floridians from the Holy Land. It, again, you know, it, again, the only one that could do that is the president. So we will not leave our residents behind. Florida, uh, Ron DeSantis signs executive order, declares state of, emer uh, of emergency over the impact of the biblical war in the Holy Land authorizes rescue operation in Israel, activates Florida National Guard and State Guard. Give me a second, let me just see some of these comments really quick. state of emergency does that mean tolls are waved on a turnpike absolutely not actually i just received a ticket i received a nice ticket in the lot i mean in the mail i received a nice letter a beautiful letter from the uh director motor vehicle something and i opened the letter and they got a picture of my vehicle the back license plates and you know it says uh you made a left turn on the red light. $280 ticket. And it's impossible because I was inside a box when the light turned red. But again, I got to pay it. I got to pay it. Poor Lewis. Can't catch a break. All right. So, man. Um... So again, guys, I just wanted to uh, bring this information uh, and also me receiving the presidential tax alert. I just feel like, you know, it's very important that people uh, be aware. Now, we do have uh, a, um, a nuclear power plant off the Mc McDell. Uh, something is in Tampa. That's one of the biggest one is... Uh, it's a military base out there in, in Tampa. It's the biggest one. And uh, so, again, I talked about that a couple of days ago. That, uh, you know, that's always on the list. The Bears keep that on the list as number one. So, um, give me a second here. I want to see if there's any breaking news. And I do have another video coming up. Wow. Okay. This here is going to be my next video. All right. So 24 hours is done, expired. So what's next? Well, again, guys, we're going to talk about that. We got tons of information coming out. I just wanted to come out with this uh, state of emergency in the state of Florida. I live in Florida. And uh, one thing I tell you, uh, there's no martial law. People are saying there's martial law. There's no martial law here in the state of Florida. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many. 
and to lead many to the righteous path and as the path of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, uh, or my wife Jessica Santiago at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number two, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.